Hello everybody, it's Mystic and welcome to my library. Welcome to Beacon Pines. And Beacon Pines is currently a demo game on Steam by Hiding Spot Games. And it is a spooky, kind of cute visual novel game. And as you can see, the game actually takes place within a book which is super cool. You can play as either the reader of the story or as the main character, Luca. And I just, I think this sounds like a really neat concept. As I said, it is currently a demo, so there may be some bugs, there may be some issues, but that's okay. That's something to expect when you're playing a demo. It's okay, we can always let the devs know if there's something that, you know, needs to be fixed or whatnot. But uh, let's get started. And I think this is also a point and click have to press space at the moment. Dear reader, allow me to introduce you to my book. Though it might first appear like many books you've come across, it is far from ordinary. You may, therefore, have some misunderstandings about its nature. The story that awaits you has not been fully told. In fact, its conclusion is not yet known, even to myself. It is in that way that my book is special. It is in that way that you are special. Without you, there is no story. Oh, it's so pretty. Chapter one. Normal isn't what it used to be. Oh my gosh, this this really makes me happy that this is an actual like book. For those of you that are new here, um, I am also really big into reading. I actually also have a booktube channel. It's not as active as my gaming channel, but I do try and post there once a month, once every, you know, twice a month if I have time. Um, but yeah, I super love reading. It's my other favorite hobby aside from gaming. So this is really neat. This is a story about change. Nestled in a shallow valley is the town of Beacon Pines. Far from the town square, across the river, past the neglected welcome sign, a young boy walks alone at dawn. You. His name is Luca Van Horn, and like you, dear reader, he is here for a reason. Oh, this is so beautiful. Okay, gotta press space. Hey, Dad. The morning light filtered through the trees onto the gravestone. How are things going? A gentle rustle of leaves was the only reply. Today's the first day of summer vacation. Look at this art style. Look at this, it's so beautiful. I start middle school next year, I guess. Oh my gosh, he's the same age as my son. I was six, year old, six years old when you died and it's been six years now. For him, I, I promise I can read. From here on out, you'll have been gone longer than when we were he than you were here. It feels like that should mean something. Mom always said that this tree was your favorite spot in the world. Me too. Aw, buddy. Hey, Luca. Rolo was Luca's closest friend. I knew I'd find you here. I this artwork is stunning. It's so pretty. Look at these guys. Well, after I banged on your door till your gran answered. He possessed many fine qualities, but subtlety was not one of them. And after I checked the pond and climbed up to the treehouse, then I knew I'd find you here. Rolo finally noticed the tears welling up in his friend's eyes and the flowers on the grave. Oh, yeah, right. You and your mom always did this on your dad's birthday. Yeah. I didn't know if you were going to keep doing that. Now you're... Oh, my God. That your mom's gone, too. Oh, please, please find a better way to say that. She's not gone. She's just missing. Sorry, I meant to say since she went missing. She's going to come back, Rolo. Of course she is. Okay, Dad. See you next time. I think I'm ready to get out of here. Sure, lead the way. Oh, I, I'm in control now. Okay. Um, I just want to see if I could lower the in-game sound a little bit. I can. Okay. 
let's actually let's just lower that a little bit there we go okay all right is there anything to gather here oh look <gasps> what is that an achievement that's so cute oh what what is this Wonderful. I had a good feeling about you from the moment you opened my book. That charm is a very special thing. Very special indeed. Keep hold of it for now. Its purpose will reveal itself soon enough. Oh. I love that. He was sneezing as you walk through. Look at it. Oh my gosh. I love this. I want to... Okay, I'm not going to keep making your allergies go off, buddy. I'm sorry. I suffer from this as well. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. The whole reason I was looking for you. I was wondering if you'd ever get to that. You know the abandoned warehouse near my place? The old Valentine building? Yeah, well, it isn't abandoned. What makes you think that? Get this. Last night, it was glowing glowing are you sure kind of <laughs> are you kind of sure the place has been empty since since before the foul harvest yeah who would even want to poke around that place we would rollo we would wait 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 it's just a busted old warehouse what do you expect to find there answers my mom's out there somewhere and it seems like everyone wants to pretend that she's gone for good. I feel so bad for this kid. You don't have to come, Rolo, if you don't want to. Luca, remember that time I sort of accidentally burned down the chicken coop? And you jumped in and said it was your fault before my pa throttled me? This is a flaming chicken coop sort of deal. I gotta got I've I've got your back. Thanks, Rolo. Now that I think about it. Poking around a decrepit fertilizer warehouse is exactly how I want to spend my first day of summer. Oh no. All right, I wonder if we can get another thing from going in here. Ooh. Under the shade of an old straw hat, the scarecrow held a, s a knowing smirk. One of its button eyes had been pecked out by a brash crow, creating the impression of an, an eternal wink. Is there anything else in here? I feel like this is one of those games where you're going to want to explore a little bit. I, I can't get over how pretty this is. Hey, Jack. Morning, Jill. <laughs> Salutations, Dr. Hassenpfeffer III. <laughs> God. Oh, so that's Dr. Hassen, Dr. Hassenpfeffer III. He looks great. I love this game so much already. It's beautiful. It's funny. All right, I just have to tell Gran, and then we can head out. What are you going to tell her? I don't know. I'll think of something. If it's all the same to you, I'll meet you at the welcome sign. Your Gran smells kind of funny. Wow. Suit yourself. I won't be long. That's... <laughs> this kid just speaks his mind. Anything here? Ooh. Oh, look at He could chill on the, on, the, on the fence. Okay. My God, look at how pretty this is. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stop saying how beautiful I think this is. It is so beautiful. Dear reader, forgive me for this interlude. Remember that charm you found in the dandelion patch? There are more of those special charms to be discovered throughout Beacon Pines. They have been known to reveal themselves to those who are willing. Some of them can be found in this very house. Aha, see, I knew it. Exploration. Let's see what I can find. Ooh. Since Gran had moved in, the house was more peaceful, more orderly, and more covered in flowery fabric. I mean, doesn't every grandma need chairs that are covered in flowery fabric? I mean, it's kind of like required by law. The drawer was packed with his dad's old baseball co card collection and urge to <laughs> an urge to collect things was passed on to Luca. Oh, I guess the sunglasses mean you can just chillax. Look at him. He's chillaxing. Oh, he's pondering. Okay. That's our new charm. So we got two now. We'll have to see what these do. Oh, and I noticed they have different symbols on the end of it. So I'm wondering if that means something too. 
He's sliding off the chair like my dog does. Gran had already lit the fire. She kept a warm house, as if by grandmotherly obligation. Wait, there's a fire going in summer? This house must be roasting. Can I inspect anything over here? Luca knew that if he... I'm not trying to leave. That if he left without telling Graham, it would be in trouble. Okay, so I guess I can't inspect anything over there. All right, what's here? Just some dusty knickknacks. Anything else? Let's go upstairs. Oh, this house is so cute. Oh, you can jump. I just noticed. Okay. Luca paused at his parents' bedroom door. He just wasn't ready to go in yet. Oh. Gran had commandeered the upstairs closet when she moved in. Some things need shelter from a young boy's mischief, she said. Ooh, hide. And this one has the same symbol as ponder. Okay, so I'm not sure what that means yet, but we'll check. Oh, this must be his room? Luca tossed on his favorite old sweater. Even though it was the first day of summer, a chill had still hung in the air. Ah, oh, and this one has two symbols. Okay, yeah, I'm not sure what that means yet. But it's definitely going to pay to explore everywhere. Grant's moving in meant that most of Luca's things had been crammed in the corner. Luca was somewhat annoyed by the situation. Is there anything else? Nothing here. Gran's bed was undisturbed. Luca didn't mind that she had a habit of falling asleep in front of the fireplace. It meant that he could read late into the night. Sounds like a kid after my own heart. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anything else here. So we can go back downstairs. Look at this kitchen. Nothing here. Oh, look at that straw hat. Whoa, you could turn on the water. A pair of dull scissors, a broken can opener, and most em mostly empty bottle of glue and some loose string. Junk. Oh, and this one doesn't have a symbol. Hmm, okay. Oops. Also, my dog is in here and she is having a dream, so you might hear her because she has loud dreams. <laughs> mm, something has gone wrong in there. Okay, so let's close it. Uh, this is how we got in, right? Okay, so no grandma in here. Can I use the stove? No. I don't think I can take that bread either. Okay, maybe she's out in the garden. There she is. Oh my, this is quite exciting. I am now certain that you are the one I have been waiting for all these years. You'll recall I was a bit coy with regarding, wait. You'll recall I was a bit coy regarding the use of charms earlier. Excuse me, I tend to have a flair for the dramatic. You are about to encounter your first turning point. There are certain times in this tale when everything hinges on a single word. Ooh. You can use the various charms you have collected to alter events and thus completely rewrite... What? Rewrite the fate of Beacon Pines. This is no small thing. So step forth, dear reader, and grasp hold of destiny itself. Oh my god. You can change the whole story? Hang on, I want to see if there's anything else I can get. In the short time since her arrival, Gran had set about remaking the garden. The wild bushes Luca spent play, spent his childhood playing in had been replaced by patches of fresh soil. Oh, this is so cool. A beginner's guide to gardening laid open on the bench. Oh my god, look at her! Her character design's so cool. Hey, Gran, I'm going to go hang out with Rolo for the day. See you later. Hold up now. Where are you and Rolo headed exactly? Oh, uh, nowhere special. The less Gran knew, the better for everyone involved. We were just going to go... Huh? Oh! Ponder. Hide. Chill. Now it had a heart, so do I need to use ponder or can I use chill? Because I feel like it would be chill. Like we're gonna go chill for the day. Although I guess it could be whatever. I'm gonna go ponder. I, th I think we're gonna say chill. We're just gonna go chill for the day. 
The best lies are built on the truth. You boys are always in a hurry to do nothing. We stick to what we're good at. Well, make sure you are done chilling in time for supper. Easy. <laughs> Impressive. You've managed to navigate your first turning point without too much of a mess. That is the power of charms. A simple word can change the course of history. I think it's time to introduce you to the Chronicle. Ooh. Uh-oh, this is going to have branching storylines. The Chronicle is a record of the decisions you've made. You can see the turning point which has been revealed. At any time, you can use the Chronicle to go back and invoke different charms, creating new... Oh my god, this game is going to have so much replay replayability. Creating new branches. This conversation with Graham seems innocent enough. The perfect opportunity to experiment with rewriting things. A grand jury. Oh, cool. How about we try ponder? Let's see what happens. We're just gonna go ponder for the day. Oh, really? What are you boys going to ponder on such a lovely day exactly? This was Lucas' chance to sell his alibi. Um, you know, big stuff, small stuff, medium, mostly medium pondering. Nailed it. <laughs> Well, make sure you don't overburden yourself with a preponderance of pondering. Huh? Oh, forget it. Off with you now. Okay. So you can change stuff around if you wanted to. I actually might keep it at ponder because if it uses up the charm, I don't think I want to use up the one that has the charm. Oh, no, wait. Does it keep it? It does keep it. Okay, I mean, I, get, I could always come back and try it again later, right? Let's just keep it at pondering. All right, so he can leave now. Let's head back. All right, I didn't see anything else here to get. I, I didn't get anything for chilling here. I'm wondering if I need to do it for a certain amount of time or if this is just for fun. Might just be... Yeah, okay. Come on, come on! Woo! <laughs> Dang it, Rolo! Okay, I really like Rolo. He's fun. For a town that saw few visitors, the welcome was perhaps more grand than necessary. So wait, he went that way, but there's another... The road leading to Beacon Pines was long and uninspiring. A sort of natural barrier for the impatience. Oh, I can't even go there. Okay. Oh, wow. I like that this whole, like, scene makes it look like it's on a page. Like, the, the illustration in a book looks very similar to this sometimes, most of the time, I guess. And it looks, it just looks so good. I love this. Oh, I'm gonna chill again. I, I guess we have some people to talk to. Oh, he's sleeping. <laughs> really sleeping. Come on, Andy, grab his wallet. I'm sorry, Iggy, I can't. Do it or we pound ya. Yep. Yeah, but my mom's sad. Yeah, but. Yeah, but. If I had a nickel for every yeah, but, I'd be the freaking king of nickels. Ain't that right, Tish? Yup. <laughs> Alright, are they bullying this poor little bunny to steal this, this pig's wallet? It's not nice. Where's your mother's? Or your parents? I'm just <sighs> catching my breath. Go on, I'll catch up. Oh, okay. Beacon, beacon. Hey, Mr. Wilder. Morning, Luca. What's the what's the day have in store for you? I was just wondering if you heard any news about news. The beacon, beacon knows thing knows what knows the news that needs knowing. Any news about the old fertilizer warehouse? Nope. Oh, Rolo thought he saw some lights there last night. Hmm. Rolo ought to be careful poking around that part of town. The winds of change are blowing. And change is a dangerous animal. Oh. That's something new. Okay. Can I go in here? No. I 
So I might be wrong, but I think this game was featured on the uh, E3 Wholesome Direct. Because I'm pretty sure I had it written down on my list. And yeah, I can see why. It's very, very wholesome and just chill looking. Although I know it is supposed to be a little creepy, but I don't think it's going to be like horror jump scare creepy. Uh, Luca could see the morning regulars nestled in their booths in the early bean. Oh my god, I love the name of that. Hey, Mrs. Nelson. Morning, Luca. Any big plans for the summer? Not really. Heard anything about the old fertilizer warehouse? Any strange happenings? Can't say I have. Either way, a dusty old warehouse is no place for a young boy. You be safe now. Can I go up the stairs? Oh no, it doesn't let me. Okay. Miss, Miss Hatch can often be ha found near the fountain, too absorbed in a book to be distracted. Is she Belle? The two wandered down the wooded path, unaware of the danger ahead. Oh! Oh, this is getting good. What was... I'm trying to think of the song that Belle would sing, but this is totally Belle. In this quaint, small provincial town? Yeah, I don't know, but anyway... Luca, just the fellow I was looking for. You must be Rolo's mom? Hey, oh, maybe sister? Hey, Roxy, what's up? Oh, right. Rendezvous with Roxy. This is an important turning point. The first time where your charms will change the course of fate. And currently, we only have one suitable charm at our disposal. Have no fear. We can always return later using the Chronicle once we find more charms. Well, now I'm just rambling. Where were we? Have you seen... It's his sister. Okay. Have you seen my idiot brother today? He skipped out before breakfast. Well, not really, no. Can't say I have. Can't say or won't say. Come on, Roxy. Would I, would I lie to you? <laughs> Luca, wait up. I almost forgot to tell you. Roxy might be lurking around here. This is one of her favorite places to stand around and be useless. Rolo. So we need to make sure she doesn't spot us. Rolo. Why are you doing that turning thing with your body? What are you, what, you're not scared of, what? You're not, blah, blah, what, you're not scared, are you? She's harmless and stupid. And she might, she's right around that corner, isn't she? Don't mind me, just over here lurking, uselessly. Oh, hey, sis. Nice weather we're having, eh? I couldn't help but notice you snuck out before breakfast. Wasn't hungry. Also couldn't help but notice your morning chores were left unchored. Must have slipped my mind. Thanks for letting me know. Anyways, Luke and I have places to be, so if you don't mind. Oh, I do mind. I'm not going to catch hell again because of you. So either you march yourself home and feed those chickens, or I'll haul you home myself. Ooh. I like how the page numbers are going up, too. Rolo froze as Roxy took a step toward him, cracking her knuckles. Luca knew he had one chance to save his friend from being dragged home. In the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little chill. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't use chill before. Or maybe it's fine because I think it's still there. Come on, Roxy. It's the first day of summer. The sun's shining and we just want to take it easy. Even though I'm wearing a sweater. Look at him. He's chilling. Let's leave tomorrow's problems for tomorrow. That's great and all, but Rolo's problems have a way of becoming my problems. And Pa always says, tomorrow's work is best left for yesterday. March, you big oaf. Aw, rats. I expect a full report about the Valentine place. A full report! <laughs> so, Fitz, what are you up to this lovely day? Nope. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> she just... Oh my gosh. Cool, 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 cool. Brooklyn Nine-Nine. What is this, a statue? Duke Valentine, founder of Beacon Pines. Never under underestimate what a great man can do on his own. A bit much, if you ask me. Oh, there's more. Kip's hardware went out of business over a year ago. The building has sat vacant ever since. Uh, is there anything else? Ooh, a bookshop! Ms. Novak's bookstore was often closed until after lunch. Rummaging through the dusty pile of books was one of Luca's favorite ways to kill time. Dude, same. Can I go? Luca, my boy. Oh, I, I cut him off. Sorry. 
Oh, hey, Mr. Nuncreed, I was just on my way to, I just sold the last jar of your grandmother's preserves. Can't stock the shelves fast enough, turns out. Hey, that's great, but I'm actually, I guess Juniper will have to swing by with more of her lovely jam. Uh-huh. Well, don't let this old man slow you down. You just remind her that she still owes me that dance. I promise Grand regretted the second she made it. I, how much you want to bet he's buying up the jam <laughs> so that she can stop by and sell more? Will do. She's a fine woman, that Juniper. Yeah, she's pretty cool, I guess. A real fine woman. Oh my god, stop. Uh, gotta go. Sweeter than jam. Oh, please. Please, Mr. Nuncreed. Telephone. The phone booth was brand new, part of the town's Beacon Pines Reborn Initiative. It didn't see much use. Okay, wait, is this a path down here? Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Hmm. I kind of want to inspect a little bit. Is this... This is probably bad. Oh, well, I can't seem to do anything to it. Oh, boy. The path led into a small hollow at the edge of Weep Wood. Okay, no turning back now. Caution, electrified fence. Well, something got through it. Is that sign new? The fence thrummed with a gentle electric buzz. Okay, so what would Rolo do if he was here? Probably just run through. <laughs> Luca often asked himself what Rolo would do. So he could rule out that option. Smart. I'm definitely not touching that thing. Okay. We have a couple of charms. Did I pick that up? I have a mushroom. Why do I have a mushroom? Oh, wait, there's more. Do I still have the mushroom? I don't think so. There's something here. But I can't seem to do anything with it. Okay, it doesn't seem like I can do anything here yet. Okay, let's go back. Unless I can do something over here? No. Alright, so we got a mushroom. There's a can. We might be able there's also a stick. Can I pick up the stick? Hmm. What am I doing with this? Oh! A spark flew from the fence. The light atop that section shut off. Two bulbs remain. Oh! Okay. I get it. That's two. One more to go. All right. There's another mushroom over here. I thought maybe I was supposed to use the stick, but I guess not. There we go. The fence is buzzing. Gave way to silence. This is like the worst security system ever. If you could just throw mushrooms at it and it stops working. Okay. Moment of truth. Oof. Every kid in town knew the old Valentine Fertilizer Building. Long abandoned, the warehouse once served as the industrial heart of Beacon Pines. Now it stood only as a reminder of things left behind. The dormant building showed strange signs of life. Okay, so Rollo wasn't exaggerating for once. What's going on here? There's only one way to find out. Oh boy, even the music's creepy. Wow, that smells awful. Too bad Rolo's not here. He'd have no problem poking around in there. There's a hose here. The hose emitted a subtle sound. It was actively draining some kind of liquid. So maybe don't step in that? Locked. Luca thought he heard a faint sound coming from the other side of the door. He pressed his ear against the cold metal to hear better. A zipper? Footsteps? The sound of footsteps. Steps go through ladder. Oh my god, hide. Hello? Oh. Shh. Poop. <laughs> you actually get it? Okay. The heavy steel door knocked Luca to the ground. Disoriented, he looked up to see an imposing figure silhouetted in a green glow. It lunged toward him. He tried to scramble away, but felt a gloved hand latch onto his ankle. Lucha Luca watched his fingernails leave trails in the dirt as the hand slowly dragged him back through the door, into the lab, 
into the green light. This is a story about change. It was far from the sort of change Luca imagined for himself, but change is, after all, a dangerous animal. The end? <gasps> Luca stumbles into a hazmat worker. Oh. So is that all I can do right now? Okay, so let's go back here, because I can apparently give Roxy... <laughs> okay. Made a, make a break for it. This is madness. Ah! Oh my god, Rolo, just run. Did that little just kick me? Run all you want, you little twerps. You've got to come home eventually. Ah! Luca, my boy, hold up a tick. Uh, sorry, Mr. Nunkreed. Kind of in a hurry right now. Sigh. Boy's got too much of his father in him. I win. Little help. I am the champion. <laughs> we were racing? Did that road get longer? Like anything ever changes around here. It seemed longer. You're just lightheaded from the run. You really need to pace yourself better next time. Not sure why I would take advice from second place. Has that sign always been there? Wait, what? Caution, electrified fence. No, that's definitely new. Creepy. How are we going to get around an electric fence? Don't worry, I've got this. Oh, no. Uh, why did you do that? Pa always says you could figure out what the plan was when you're done. Great. What now? Well, I did my part and established that touching the fence is bad. I'm sure you can handle it from here. I'll supervise. From a safe, di safe distance. Okay. Okay. So that's interesting. So like before we couldn't get him with us, but after we saw the uh, the hazmat guy, we got the poop and that turned us into a little <laughs> to harass Roxy. That's pretty great. Whoa, you're a genius. Okay, yeah, we've, we've done this before. I missed. There we go. I think that did it. We didn't have to do as many lights this time. Luca. Oh, no, wait. Maybe he turned the other two off when he ran into it. You never fail to impress. As the glowing windows of the old warehouse came into view, Rolo began to bounce excitedly. Check it out. Dang, Rolo, you weren't exaggerating for once. Was there ever any doubt? This definitely needs investigating. Good thing two crack detectives are on the case. This is crazy. This is awesome. Okay, dude, that could be toxic waste. Check out this puddle. That's not normal. And this hose. Oh man, the door is locked. Try harder. No dice, it won't budge. I'm tempted to prove you wrong, but I wouldn't want to embarrass you. Oh well. This dumpster is new, right? I bet it's got stuff in it. I can't really see what's in here. Who did all of this? My nose is itching. I think I smell some treasure. Are you sure that isn't the hazardous waste? Just help me get in. Rollo, it would be my honor to throw you in the trash. <laughs> Come on, lady luck. Oh, dang. So, what's in there? Let's see. There's a squishy bag of squish. Wow. Hang on, there's more. A good inch of stagnant sludge. <laughs> Your natural habitat. Wait, hold the phone. Hold two phones. Check these bad boys out. Ooh, are those walkie-talkies? Just like Hank Atomic communicators. Do these actually work? Ground command to Hank Atomic. Hank, do you read me? This is Hank Atomic, ground command. You're coming in five by five. How, um, how are your vital readouts, Hank? It's getting a little stuffy in here. Requesting assistance for evac. Help's on the way. Uh-oh. What was that? Someone's coming. Give me your hand. I'm trying. My hands are covered in squish. Scoot. Scoot over. I'm coming in. Um. 
Why is his arm twitching? Oh, why is he twitching? Oh, that's weird. Uh, tell me you saw that. Dude, I don't know what I saw. He's coming back. Get down. That looks like a body. The boy sat petrified under the weight of the bag. Okay. Okay, okay. I think we should make a break for it. Stay calm. There's no reason to panic. I'm not panicking. You're panicking. Rolo, calm down. You don't have to squeeze my hand so hard. Dude, I am not holding your hand. Oh, no. Quit messing around. What other slime-covered hand would it be in here? Ah! Ah! Oh, I was... I think I was right. Oh, no, it's twitching. Why is it twitching? Wait. Is this a zombie game? I did not sign up for zombie games. <laughs> I have an irrational fear of zombies. No. I'm beginning to see the benefits of the run for your lives plan. Right, we've clearly established that I'm faster than you, so I'll go first. Why not go together? Flaming chicken coop, Luca. I'll make sure the coast is clear. After I go, count to 100. If you hear me yell, run. If you don't hear me yell, run. Actually, either way, haul ass. Rolo. Yeah? I'll give you credit. You sure found an eventful way to start our summer. It's what I do. Well, here goes nothing. Luca sat in the dark, tracking the sound of Rolo's footsteps as he ran. One, two, three. He pressed his ears to the dump his ear to the dumpster wall, straining to hear Rolo's footsteps as they faded away. 15, 16, 17. He tried not to think about the constants of the dumpster as he counted. 35, 36, 37. Thick stench made it hard to breathe. Screw it, that's long enough. Luca carefully lifted the lid and peered out. Nothing. No sign of Rolo. No sign of the man in the yellow suit. Time to haul ass. Luca clambered from the dumpster, stumbling to his knees. He was up like a shot and running, sprinting toward home as fast as he could. Beacon pines flew by, blurred by the tears that welled up in his eyes. He wouldn't remember getting home at all that night, throwing his front door open, storming up the stairs to his room, and surrendering to sleep almost as abruptly as he hit his pillow. Chapter 2. Finding a Friend The next morning, it was quieter than usual at the breakfast table. Only the sound of silverware and chewing interrupted the awkward silence. Dude, I hope you took a shower after that. I finished jarring a mess of jam last night. Uh-huh. So that'll need to get delivered into town today. Okay. So what did you and Rolo get up to yesterday? Oh, nothing interesting. Hello? Calm down. No, of course it was the right thing to do. Start gathering, folks. I'll be right there. Are you sure there isn't an anything you want to tell me about yesterday? Anything I want to tell you? Not really. We just sort of ran around a bit. Grant's barrel furrowed. She let a long sigh. Her voice was quiet and even. I have to go take care of something. You stay in this house for the day. Under no circumstance are you to leave. What? I am not- if I am not back by dinner, there's stew in the icebox. But- but nothing. You are to stay here, understand? Yeah. Say it. I'll stay here until you get back. Good. Luca stood in silent shock. Had Grand caught him in a lie? Where could she be even be going? Well, that was strange. Okay, I can move. Can I go back here? See if there's anything new. There does not seem to be. My worry is that Rolo never made it home. Hmm. I wonder if I can actually try to leave. Or maybe there's some other place to explore in the house? Let's take a look. A strange sound buzzed in the air. Is that coming from upstairs? Hello? Is anyone there? My guess is his parents' room. No? 
Oh, no, wait. No, this is a closet. Oh. Oh, it's the walkie-talkie. Hello? Rolo, is that you? What was that? Over. Strange. Luca glanced at the now silent walkie-talkie. He wasn't sure what to think. Okay. Uh-oh. Is somebody knocking? Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, hey, Roxy. If this is about me uh, accidentally kicking you yesterday, is Rolo here? No. Look at me, Luca. This is serious. Is Rolo here? No, I haven't seen him since yesterday. Rolo didn't come home last night. Oh, no, I knew it. What? A pit formed in Luca's stomach. Where was the last place you saw him? Uh, we were playing around in Weep Wood, and then it was late, so we went home. Weep Wood? If he's alive, I'm going to kill that little creep. Is there anything else? Anything that he said? Luca's mouth felt dry. No, we were just messing around. Okay. I need to go let people know to check the woods. If you can think of anything else that might help, let me know. Luca could fear his, feel his heart beating in his throat. Rolo. I've got to go find him. Oh boy. All right. I think I'm going to end this here and we will start up the next episode with going to go find Rolo. Um, because I'm going to assume that there's going to be another part to this where I have to go searching for him. So I will leave that for next time, but I am really enjoying this. Um, I know this is just a demo, but wow, like I'm really impressed with this game. It's really good. Um, it's got that right level of creepy. It's not like super spoopy, but it's definitely got a creep factor to it. And yeah, I, I'm super excited to play more of this. So, um, yeah, if you want, you can check the demo out on Steam. It is available there. You can also make sure to wishlist this game if it seems like it's something you would want to play. I don't know if there's a release date yet, um, but I am definitely going to be picking it up once it is available because this was really, really fun. I liked this a lot. Um, I love the whole, like, aspect of being, like, reading a book, but also creating the story as you go along. That is so cool. I love this a lot. Uh, so anyway, hopefully you all enjoyed it. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. You can join the discord as well. I have links for both of those down in the description box below. Um, you can also all be sure to link the devs of this game so you can follow them on Twitter and keep up with this game, find out what's going on. And you can also become a channel member here, which is an optional $1.99 or $4.99 a month by clicking the join button down below. So until next time, I will see you later. Bye.